Dead meme. Hey everyone, we're back. We're going to play a little bit more of Orion. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about how to automate your ships, what captains to choose so that you can have an enormous empire like this one and not have to micromanage it because it is simply not possible. So I'm going to jump right in. We're going to cover how to give ships commands, what captains to use, and we're going to start that right now. So first things first, we should look at what you could do without a captain. So we'll go into M. This is the map where the vast majority of commands for ships will be given. I'm going to select that ship that I was just showing you, the Atlas. Every option is grayed out. This cap Without a captain, a ship is unable to do anything except for a direct order on the map screen by right-clicking to move. And if you hold down left shift, you can give a series of move commands. But I do not recommend it. So I've got another ship here. Let's just open up the ship menu with I. In the crew tab, you can see that I have a tier zero captain. So this is like a, a bare minimum captain. They can do the vast majority of jobs, assuming they have the correct equipment, such as attack enemies, repair, travel. But the one I am interested in showing you right now is travel. Since we just talked about uh, moving the ship through a, a manual set of waypoints, you can order the ship to move a big distance by selecting this and selecting then destination, and you can ask it to move quickly. This is the ambush probability. A weaker ship with a bad engine is more likely to be attacked. It'll take six minutes for the ship to perform this action, and that's how far it's going to travel. You can alter all this sort of thing. Different captains are better for uh, different tasks. Uh, traveling is included. The higher tier, the more effective the captain is. A high tier um, captain in this, in as a salvager or whatnot will occasionally even provide you with a few items just by completing the command. So we're going to move on to the next set of commands. All right, with the same ship, I have the option of holding down left shift and I can say, attack all enemies. But this means you'll have to load the sector in order to give this command to the ship. But if you're on the map, you can ask this ship to attack all enemies, even if you're not commanding it. You're in another sector piloting another ship. Don't want to deal with the load time. This is an option that you've got. So this is a utility ship that I've designed. It's built to repair and move uh, asteroids and whatnot. Very fortuitous. If I hold down left click and we can ask it to repair all, this ship contains a fighter bay with exceptional repair fighters. And they will restore the hull and or shields depending on what kind of fighter it is. And basically it asks, it acts uh, similar to like what my uh, friend nicknames the hospital ship. So now that yeah, well, we don't really need to intervene. We're going to be good here. If we look at the map, we'll grab the tug ship. We can also give this order from here. We don't need to load the system. These two commands can be given from anywhere in the galaxy without actually having to load into the ship. Very, very useful. So we're going to move on to the next one. All right, here's our next ship. It contains an explorer captain. A tier zero, not fantastic, but, um, you know, it, it's doing the job. So explorer captains, when they perform an action, the uh, surrounding tiles on the map may be potentially explored. It doesn't happen every time, but frequently. Explorers also are better with this button, the scout button. So you can give an area in which to scout. And as you can see, these weird markings, this, I have had this captain already explore this region relatively recently, and she'll give, he or she will give notes. So I've never been here personally, but I do know that there's a shipyard and a resistance station here. I know that uh, this captain's never seen anything like it, so there's a bizarre anomaly there. Uh, let's see, another one I've never seen. We saw Zotan in the sector. So... Basically, the Explorer Captain makes this function way better 
the move command as well on the Explorer is better. As you can see, it's four minutes as opposed to like the eight with the normal captain. And when you perform an expedition, which is this button, you're likely to gain uh, artifacts, or not artifacts, subsystems that are related to uh, Explorer-related uh, power-ups and subsystems. So we're going to move on to the next button, which is mine. Okay, so we're on to the mining ship. I did a video that explains in great detail how to make a very effective mining vessel. Uh, this one has a, you guessed it, a mining captain. Mining captains will increase the amount of yield from the automated mining. Uh, they typically have little uh, power-ups as well for, for uh, manual mining, like they highlight hidden ores and asteroids. Uh, so let's go to the map, give you a, a look of how they function. So we'll go here. So the duration in which I can order this thing to mine is significantly greater than your average captain. They could take advantage of uh, high-powered, uh, what do you call it, uh, mining lasers. They get an overall increased boost when it comes to mining. So it, it's pretty simple. Uh, I don't know how much more clear than that I can be. I'll link my video to show how to operate this at a more effective level. But we're ready to move on to the next one. All right, so on to the next option that you're able to give as a command to captains, which is salvaging. So we'll look at the ship here. This is an Alliance vessel. Uh, you can use all these techniques that I'm showing you to command vessels within your Alliance, assuming you have the appropriate rank, but that's a different video and a different topic. So this is a tier two salvage captain. If you give them a command, there's a probability that they'll uh, just get random subsystems and whatnot from even a simple command as move from here to here so we're going to look at the map i can order where are you alliance salvager to salvage the sector because it is a salvage captain i have the option to increase the uh, rules regarding the yield of salvage is very similar to that of the of a mining ship like the more effective lasers the bigger the cargo hold and whether or not there are fighters that um, you, I can refer you to the mining ships video for automation. Very, very similar. I'm sure you'll figure it out. But other than that, we can also order this ship to salvage the sector while you're in it. So if it's a sector that's frequently being attacked, you can cash in. So we're going to move on to the next one. All right, this next vessel is another salvage vessel. It's a good one to cover the next button because it does have a cargo hold filled with scrap metal from salvaging a sector that's frequently attacked because it's almost always loaded because we have a ship here uh, doing rifts quite frequently. Again, that's another <laughs> topic. I did do a video on it if you want to learn some more. So this ship does not have a salvage captain. It's not required, but you know, I'm just cheap. So my cargo hold is filled with refinable ores. One option we do have is I can say autopilot and I can ask it to refine ores but there's a problem there's no refinery in this sector so we're going to open up the map menu I'm going to select my the street sweeper this is the next button I can ask any ship carrying refinable ores such as scrap or straight up metals to refine so it's going to take 12 minutes there's a zero probability of ambush because this is a rather powerful ship this is the expected yield so we'll let that get on its way, and we'll move on to the next one. So this next captain does a little bit more advanced work. We're going to cover the merchant or the trader. So we'll open up our crew here. We have a tier one merchant. Merchants come with a um, cargo license, as you can see. So I could potentially transport dangerous cargo. I do cover dangerous cargo in another video, in the turret factory video, but that is another discussion. We're going to just get simply into if your captain is not, uh, does not have the license to transport these goods, the NPCs will fine you and you'll, you could potentially lose reputation. They'll, they'll take the goods from you. So it's definitely a good thing to have. The other advantage that one of these captains has 
is the procure button. So I can ask this character or this captain, say, I want you to find some acid and I want you to bring me that much of it. I can say start. This is the duration, the expected price. I don't need to go look for this. This captain's going to handle it on his own. And the upside to a captain, I believe you could send them for almost anything. I don't believe there is a restriction. The restriction is mostly how much money you've got. So we're going to also take a look at a few other things that the, that this captain can do. Um, we can ask this captain to sell. So anything in the cargo hold with, that, with the sell button here. This is the projected uh, average cost. So on this aluminum, I'm going to lose about 10% of the potential. So I could always try to hold on to it by doing this. But all of this material, I actually am keeping, which is I'm making turrets with it. So the, the nice thing that this captain can also do is it can perform a trade route. This was also covered by a video of mine but I can ask this captain to secure $17 million worth of body armor and sell it for a profit of approximately $2.9 million a flight. The flight will take 21 minutes. That, that is a, a video that I've already covered. I'll refer you to that in the description. All right, so we have the Supply Factories button. I have a ship here that's just got mostly a cargo bay. It has a normal captain. A normal captain can do this job. So let's open up the map. So we have Echo selected here. I've got the option to supply factories. Unfortunately, the, the chat is in the way. Supply factories button. So this is going to be used when you have factories and sectors that are outside of one another. So like I have an oil rig in an oil refinery in separate sectors. There's a reason why you would do this. But uh, that's a, a discussion for another time. So when you open your supply factories, it's going to list pretty much everything you have. So hopefully uh, <laughs> you know what you're looking for, because as you can see, there's my oil, oil rig. So now it pretty much knows, yeah, it, it's going to supply a refinery. There, You can load this ship up, but the more jobs you give it, the longer it's going to take. So the ambush prob probability on these ships, I've never seen it go above zero. I don't believe they can be ambushed. So free cargo space makes a, a big difference. The runtime is indefinite. It takes 53 minutes to do the loop. So if you want to get this done quicker, you're going to have to get a better captain, like say an explorer or a higher tier, and you'll this won't take so long. But with such a big cargo bay, it doesn't really matter. You just hit start, and you'll never have to think about it again. That oil rig will supply this uh, oil refinery in this sector, like 100 sectors away. Never touch it again. All right, so we're going to cover a more interesting button, the expedition button. I've looked high and low on the forums to figure out how to remove the economy notifications that always appear on the right, but it does not seem like anyone knows. So if I ever figure it out one day, I'll post it in the chat because it, it'll get in the way, likely, when we attempt to discuss this. All right, so I'm going to take Vector here. I'm going to ask it to do an expedition. Expeditions typically require you to be in mostly unexplored space. You can set a duration. These are some of the expected yields, like the it could find 0 to 200 grand. It could find some random minerals. Uh, there's some chance of uh, filling up the cargo bay. So the largest contributor to all of this, of course, is the captain. This is a, a non-role-specific uh, captain. So non-role-specific loot will be acquired. The daredevil captain is the one that shines here. They typically do. The, they perform the best. They uh, are likely to receive uh, combat-related turrets. For example, if you ask a merchant to do this job, the you're likely to receive uh, subsist subsystems regarding the economy. So just keep that in mind. If you want to use this button, uh, you know it, it's interesting. It will yield you some random goods, but that's up to you, right? It depends on whether or not you feel that this sort of job is worth it. Me personally, I've only used it just to understand what it does and how it works. 
So let's move on to the next one. So the next button um, mostly covers rearming torpedoes. So if we look at the equipment dock, it's just something that I'd like to put, keep in mind. This is where your torpedoes are going to be bought. At this time, um, at least uh, no one seems to have an answer to this, that there is no method to manufacturing your own torpedoes. This is how you're going to acquire them. You're going to go to an equipment dock. Now, if you want to automate that system or that, uh, that process, we'll select vector here. We're going to use the restock button. Uh, let's see. So apparently there's no torpedoes in the region to buy, but I can still show you basically what the UI looks like. So if I wanted to buy an antimatter torpedo, I would just drag this up. Well, apparently we can buy torpedoes. And so this is a potential cost, like 5 million for 59 torpedoes. Um, we can up the rarity, and yeah, that is an absurd price for 59 torpedoes. So I'm just not of the opinion that um, doing like the torpedo boat uh, thing, it just is not really viable. I find that they're not, uh, torpedoes just, they, they, ha they rarely hit at the end game. The number of point defense on the vast majority of ships is just so great that no torpedo ever gets through. I'm not saying that they're like you'll never use them. Like I found right up the titanium to neonite era. Torpedoes were phenomenal. Not every ship's got point defense. But I can guarantee you the moment you hit Trinium, you fire off one torpedo and they're usually destroyed before they even escape like the shields of your ship. So it's just something to keep in mind. But if you want to run the torpedo route, this is the button you're gonna use. You're just gonna go restock. You'll select the one that you're looking for. Uh, I'm not going to cover what all of these torpedoes do, but as you can imagine, the further down this list you go, the more damaging they become. And the amount here, and you can ask it to go by. The upside, if you have a merchant captain doing this, the price typically is a bit lower. So I believe we've covered all of the buttons that you can use to automate a ship and give the commands. The only thing really left to do is discuss the captains themselves. I'll just use this one as a brief example. This is a tier zero, zero captain. They're likely to have an equal number of negative attributes versus positive. So the higher the tier, the more positive attributes they have, the less likely they are to have a negative one. They're still going to have them. It's going to happen. So keep in mind uh, the the type of mer the type of captain you use matters. Merchant captains are good for buying, selling, trading, transporting. Explorers move quicker. They uh, have they are more effective at using the explorer command. Daredevils are great at expeditions. They'll find you a lot of neat things. Uh, Commodores are great for uh, commanding vessels with fighters in them. They usually have a lot of perks regarding their benefits. A salvage captain's pretty obvious. They make salvaging easier and more effective. Mining captain the same. Any captain can be transformed into a different kind of captain at level 5. So the more work your captain does, uh, when they just before level 5, give them the job that you want them to do. That will make them, like say if you want to, level, you want to turn your captain into a salvage captain, when you're at like 98% XP and you're level 4, send them on a salvage mission, then they'll become a salvage captain. Just keep that in mind. Uh, the type of captain you're using really matters. And of course, uh, thanks for showing up, guys, and I hope I'll see you all again.